Hello. <laughs> Hello, Arden. Hey, should we should we start with a special guest? Yes, Dominic. Dominic, Dominic oh, come, come, special guest. Yes. For your no, seriously. come here. Yes. For your fans, you can come through here and say hi to your fans. The digma face is here. Da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friends of digma. Digma friends. Digma friends. Do Di you dig my friends? <laughs> <laughs> I dig my friends. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. uh, any any question for for Dominic? Is there any? If there's no questions, no. Hello. <laughs> I'm just following the comments. Well, enjoy your live Q&A. Hi, digmates. Hi, <laughs> Thank you, Dominique. Thank you. See you later. Okay, so while people join in and start asking questions, um, this Q&A is uh, kind of to let you ask everything that you want to ask about our, well, I would say our, but it was Manel, our lead product designer who went to China, but ev ask everything about the trip. Uh, maybe, Luis, you can start with one of the things that you're happiest about. Really, really proud of. Yeah. Okay, so the previous part, but it's not. And the reason behind it's how... Let, let's start with the previous one. So, I don't know if you can see it, but I touch it as firm yes. than soft. But the new one, it's really, really nice, really soft. And we've been aiming to accomplish this, how to say it, softness for like four years. And we've worked with many, many palm pad suppliers, yes. uh, tried many uh, different skins, many silicones, and finally we've accomplished it. And, and this has been a, like a little fight, internal fight with the product team for years, literally. So I'm really happy that we've, we've accomplished this palm pad and it's really soft, it's really nice. But at the same time, it has the nice properties of the silicone. So for example, the temperature. Uh, if this was, uh, let's say foam, uh, foam heats or, or absorbs the, the heat of the body uh, so much more, but silicone is more cold, it's, more, it's much more nice. Yeah. It's nicer uh, to the touch. So even though this seems like a small fit, yeah, it's, like it's from amazing. here, you must say, why did well, you go it's, yeah, it's for a, all the trouble? Yeah, it's the, it's the same. Yes, but not. It yeah. looks the same, but the experience is much better here. So uh, we're really happy with it. And yeah, yeah this is one of the topics yeah. of, of, of the banana. I just changed my layer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and, and yeah, it still has the, I think you get to see it, it's magnetic. And uh, we really work on the seams and everything. And this yeah. is anti-slip. So the, man, the magnets don't need to do so much work. So yeah. Really yeah, and actually, I think this this piece has been 3D printed. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is not the this, final. This piece here is, is not the not the final one. The plastic, uh, the the bottom and the slip it is, uh, and the top surface and the material inside it is. But it has the magnets. The build quality is is all the same. But this plastic that this is a prototype that it's uh, been 3D printed. Okay, um, so while people uh, keep asking questions, maybe uh, a good idea would be to. Maybe we can talk a bit about the keycaps. Sure. Which maybe I can let you. These are the fine. This, this, are the, the, this come this come directly from China. Emmanuel brought them. These two prototypes come from China. We will say prototype like some assembly samples. Yeah, assembly sample. I think that's, yeah. that's a good way of putting and it. And that has the final top panels, has the tenting, and it has the new keycaps. So they really shine through. And this is only sixty percent uh, brightness. I can change that to a hundred if we if we want. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh... I would say the most special part of these keycaps are the white ones because uh, white keycaps are so difficult to to produce in a very nice way. Uh, we could say that the ones in the market that are the best white keycaps, ABA Laser Edge, probably are the racer ones, and these are much better. So if you have a white racer uh, keyboard and you want to take a look, this is so much better. Uh, maybe we can get a top shot, please, David. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think it's focusing. Amazing, yeah. Okay, so maybe we can show the high prototype keycaps. We, do we have them yes, around? Yes, uh, but then we have uh, the... But not with the, with the light. Anyway, so... Oh, we can, look, we can do it, but the one with the black one. Oh, we can plug this. Switch. Don't we need the magnet too? Okay, awesome. We don't. Okay, so uh, these were the keycaps that we used for the high prototype. Uh, and you can see that the uh, legends are in the center, they are a bit uh, larger, they, but they shine a bit less. And 
I would the say texture is the, the texture is nicer on the new ones. And also we've moved the legends to uh, to the left because there's more space uh, to uh, show the legends, let's say, yeah. because the, the stem of the kickup is in the middle. So if we have a lar large legend, let's say, for example, the, uh, the O, uh, maybe in the video you cannot see it, but if you look at it from here, uh, you, you could see a shadow. So we've moved them to the left uh, top corner. And to be honest, the the centering, ah, we can talk about the centering of the letters maybe yes. with, with the, the, jig, the jig. Yeah, this looks just like a piece of plastic, but this is a, a jig. So what we do with these jigs is that when they are going to paint them, they just plug them, uh, maybe with a white kick. Yeah, the white kick will be easier to, to see. Yeah, so they, they plug them there. And then uh, they put all the, all the keycaps and then they, they can uh, paint them, laser edge them, etc. And this is, this jig has been a great improvement uh, to, uh, well, great improvement to improve the alignment of the, of the keycaps. Because in some tests we had some issues where there was some rotation in, in the keycaps, but this has uh, helped a ton. And just so uh, you guys have an idea, maybe the mold to manufacture this piece of plastic, maybe is 5k. Just the mold, just to manufacture this thing, and then which is something that you just use to manufacture other yeah, things. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That you just use it to ensure that you can align the keycaps, and uh, so the legends are are in place. Uh, so even though this is just a, a dumb piece of plastic, this is a, a great improvement, and and I feel like I want to put a keycap set here and put it on my wall. Uh, yeah, and, and, and this, so, I this think there's a couple of things that people need to understand the importance of this kind of things, the way that uh, keycaps are laser etched. Like you put them all and there's, there's a machine that does it, but it has, it's not like it's completely perpendicular to it. So it has, if you have a little deviation here, it will really impact how much uh, the, the legend moves from its, you know, ideal position, I would say. Yeah. So test jigs are, or, or jigs in this case, because this is not the test, yeah, this is a jig. Yeah. Jigs are really important to be able to have a, a great quality in, in your products. So we've, we've invested quite some money on not only this specifically, this is just one example, but on many, many yeah. other examples. Maybe you can put that. And we can go back to the nicer looking. Um... Yeah, let's put this here. Yep. And here. And maybe we can show how the keycaps will, I mean, this is the keycaps, how they will come if you buy them separately. Uh, and see, maybe the black ones are not the best ones to be seen, <laughs> but yeah, this is the whole set. And this here will come the extra eight keycaps. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this will be, I think this is nicer than what we have for the race right now. Yeah. And something, well, uh, this, this box has been used a lot, so it's yes. kind of flimsy and, and so my, on. And my hands are tend to, tend to be a grease uh, magnet. A yeah. <laughs> yes. My hands. Yeah. But uh, something so silly as ensuring that the edge of the box is black, something as silly as this, this is something complicated. Uh, but uh, for us, we believe that uh, if the whole uh, box is black with the edge being black, it looks better. So even though it's something for, for the suppliers, we have to pay more. These kind of details are important for us. But yeah, the, this uh, box has been traveling all over the world. Manel had it in, in China and yeah, but anyway, so okay. obviously it's a bit used. So uh, Brandon L. Kaplan is asking, is it possible to say the five in the case? Yes, I have come prepared today. Okay, I'm going to show both cases. So sure. This is the black one, and that goes for the any black keyboard. And this is the silver one. Okay, this is the keycap that should, was supposed to be. Don't worry. Oh, it's yeah, in the other keyboard. That yeah, you no worries. Okay. Let's it here. And this is the silver one. Maybe we can. We can get a, a top shot. Yeah. We, okay, we'll we have it there. Okay, perfect. Oh, we have it there in the corner. Yeah. So maybe we can we can put one of. Yeah. Let, let the me, other the way around. Yeah. And this is the white one. Yeah. And we can have this here. Yeah, so here you can see how it looks. It's so, a really snug fit. That's something that I really like yeah. uh, compared to maybe the race. We, we have one of the new neurons here. Yes, maybe, here. Maybe we have it here. That's yeah, the, so something nice is that uh, you can see here that uh, you can fit the both neurons yeah the wired neuron and you can also fit the uh, wireless neuron with the same design so it's yeah, the same exactly. case whether you buy one or the other yeah and here's the place to store the cables, the cables. this is the, not the final way the cables will be stored mm -hmm. we are working on that and but yeah this is the nice little pocket that also went through various iterations yes uh, yeah and, and i really like how 
it yeah, snaps into the, place. The, the magnets, magnet there. The magnets, is, yeah. Uh, there's been a few improvements from this case from uh, from the race to this one. One of the ones that I like the most is this little. How, how would you call this? Uh, velvet. No, or? velvet. Velvet. Yeah. yeah. Velvet. Velvety, yeah. So because it's not yeah, velvet, yeah, exactly. but yeah. yeah, this velvety touch it, it, give it a, give, gives it a nice touch that it's like a a pillow or a blanket. Yeah. I I would spend my day like this. Uh, I, I think <laughs> when we presented this, I think the, the last the last race version has this one too. So it uses the same. But this one is a bit more. No, it's a bit, the the hair is Stick. slightly longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the magnets, the, the experience opening and closing, it, it's nicer too. Yeah. And uh, so uh, we we are happy because uh, in our post sale survey, uh, we ask people about the unboxing experience, and historically has been always rated nine or higher. And even with a nine or higher unboxing experience, we we are still pushing to improve it. And even though these things are small, everything that we can do to improve the user experience is always uh, welcome, or we we aim for it. Yeah. So it's nice. Yeah, even things like the like the zipper, or even I think I was talking someday with Manel about you know that rubber thing on the zipper has to be you know perfect yeah. too, or the engraving. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. actually, we've, engra we've improved the engraving yeah. too. Yeah, I think it's, it's deeper. Yeah, exactly. It, it's deeper and more detailed. The one in the in the race was more, uh, how to say it? Less shallow? S more shallow? Yeah, more shallow, but but also it was not so uh, okay. steep. The, okay. the angles okay. were more rounded. Okay. But in this one, you can uh, clearly see how uh, it goes uh, inside. And also, I think the most special one is the gray one because yeah. we, we have it we have it for the last version of the, oh, race, the race, right? Yes. But until before, we didn't have it. And the, the material is slightly different. I think this, kind of, is, this is called Scott. I don't know what's the, the yeah, English. This, this has like more, more of a fine, like a cloth kind yeah, of thing, but yeah. in a nice way. Yeah, exactly. I think that the matching of the colors uh, is nice between the zipper, uh, the, the cloth, the inner, uh, even a small detail like this. So like I think handle, it, yeah. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, as you can see, we're, for, <laughs> we're, we're happy. We're in love. Yeah, with, we're <laughs> in love with our product, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, by the way, the, the, someone mentioned that there was a sound problem with the transition. Do we have that fixed? Great. Thank, Sweet. You, thank you, David. Maybe let's plug it in again oh, so yeah. we can. Sure. We uh, can continue showing them. Maybe you can show how oh, it is sure. unplugged. Sure. Maybe we can get a top shot. Yeah, so uh, something interesting about the new neuron for the wireless keyboards is that the, the neuron is inside the keyboard. And the way of plugging it and unplugging it is you just slide it. Oh, I'm outside of the camera, sorry. So you just slide it and that the neuron now is connected to, to the keyboard and this now it's out. It's as simple as this. So when you are gonna use it on uh, wired mode, uh, the, the neuron is outside, so you connect uh, the neuron with a cable to, to the computer. When it's on RF mode, you connect the, the neuron to the computer, but there's no cables between the neuron and the and the keyboard. And then when it's uh, Bluetooth mode, then you just plug it to the keyboard, and now you don't need any yeah, cables and anywhere. And you can switch between three different devices, yeah. which is something uh, not really useful. Let's reply. I, I love how it shines, you know, it's... Yeah, so, the underglow is like a lantern. Yeah, and, and as I say, that's a 60%. I, I think it's... Yeah, it's, it's, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe another thing we can show. Uh, we can show you maybe the sound dampening solutions we have. Sure. Uh, yeah, it's a yeah, little it. thing. I will. This is quite similar to the one on the race. Um, and maybe I can maybe you can explain it, or maybe I can explain it, whatever. You can go for it. Yeah. So basically, uh, I think for the race, for the latest iteration, we only have this. But uh, in the DeFi, we also include uh, this, as it helps. Uh, this is a stick to it, the PCB. Yeah, it's a sticker, yeah. And then uh, what it does, it reduces the impact of the switch uh, on the PCB. So, it, you know, yeah. Let's see if I can peel it. So we can show it. It's quite thin. Uh, it's can, a, it's a really, really thin th felt that yeah. goes on top of the PCB. E exactly. Maybe, maybe now you can see it's a sticker. Yeah. Yeah. You won't have to stick it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It will come. This <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, will be, it will be installed uh, on your on your DeFi when you when you get it, and then on top of that, that goes between the PCB and the top plate. Yeah. And it really, uh, I would, I don't know if this one has installed it. 
or not. I'm, so, I'm sure. so I'm I'm unsure. And uh, this this not only uh, affects the sound dampening, yep. but also it uh, affects the uh, consistency or okay. the stability yep. of, of yeah. the of the switches and the sockets. Uh, because something that we've improved from the race to the DeFi is that we've modified the base, so there's something under the sockets. So even if you press hard with a switch, it should be much more difficult to replay socket off that you could do this in the race if you put the, the yeah, switch. Yeah, properly. Yeah, so or really the, hard, yeah. Even, even though this is really thin, this plus the base that supports it makes it so it's more uh, stable. I don't know if sturdy. Stable. Sturdy? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for my English. Yes, sturdy. Okay. Oh, good question about uh, Dragon Lost. So what if we order a special color? Does it default to black or do we get to choose between silver and black? Uh, does it mean the keycaps or the so let's know the i think he's talking about the, oh, the travel case okay. so i think what we what is established is our uh, let's say you get a purple one with the white keycaps mm -hmm. that one will have a base that is also silver and the cables will be silver and everything will be silver so you will get the silver one if you get uh let's say uh, purple with black then you would get the black one yeah so basically the keycaps the cables, the palm pad, the base, and the case are all connected in color, no? In the limited editions. In the limited editions. And in okay. the normal editions, so if you get a black keyboard with white keycaps, then the cables, the base, everything will be black, and the case will, and the travel case will be black too. Okay. So that way you only change the keycaps. In the limited editions, okay. the bass, the base, and everything else matches the keycaps. Okay. It's a bit Perfect. confusing, but they are limited editions. So. Or special colors. If you yeah, want. special colors. Yeah. Okay, do we have to loop switches? I don't want to have to loop switches. I would say you don't have to. Uh, many of the switches uh, are pre-looped. Yeah, are pre-looped. Yeah, so I would say only if you're chasing a particular experience with a particular switch, you have to do it, but no, you, you don't need to. Yeah, like I think all our KL switches can pre loop but not completely pre looped I think just the... The, the Gator and Yellows too, I think. The, the Gator and Yellows have a more pre loop than yeah. the KL. Yeah. Uh, and then I think the only ones that don't have any pre-factory loop cherry are the Cherry MX, yeah. which I think the red and the brown is the, are the ones that uh, you hear more benefit and you feel more benefit yeah. when you loop them. Yeah, but maybe if you're looking for that kind of smooth experience that some people would describe as battery uh, battery not from a battery but from <laughs> butter uh, then probably the gator and yellows are the ones that get closer into yes. that experience uh, from the factory yep uh, okay uh, okay there was something around there mm, yeah so maybe we can go through more uh, maybe we can show the tenting solution sure. that we are working sure. on and maybe I can have for example for the tenting legs uh, Manel explained us that he has been going back and forth from the factory a lot. Yeah, this, <laughs> this it feels like <laughs> like we've been, you know, bringing some illegal stuff from China. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe we should put some context. So, yeah, um, this has been the first trip to China since the pandemic started. We tried going to China on December. It was impossible. Uh, all these uh, riots and issues with the uh, uh, COVID zero policy happened. Finally, we've been able to go to China. So this has been a big, I would say, milestone. Yeah. And something that happens every time that you go to China is that everything speeds up. Hello. But at the same time, because everything is speeding up because you're spending so much time with suppliers, it comes to the surface. Yep. And this is not a nice way of, of putting it, but basically all... Things arise. <laughs> <laughs> things arise. <laughs> yes, things arise. Yeah. Or problems so, arise. Problems arise, yeah. So in this case, Manel may spend days in the factories and... In one week, you can do so many more iterations than doing it uh, on yes, remote. Having to, having to send, send it back samples. and forth. Yeah, because when we send samples, the maybe they take a week. Yeah, five five to seven days to arrive the samples. But when you're there in China, it's literally in the morning you have a meeting, in the afternoon you can have the samples. Yes. So you can iterate so much more. So the, these uh, little packages and all the boxes that we have here have the results of those iterations, those discussions, those meetings. With this is what we've been calling, like most of these are what we call design validation tests. Like we do yeah. a small runs yeah. of, oh, you, then you can close it. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, our sorry. David is telling us <laughs> to move the things because they're, you cannot see them. So we're gonna just grab a few of them. Yeah. And let us explain you a few things. Yeah, I think this one here has the has the rods. Yeah. 
and we can explain the cap thing and yeah, totally. some minor things. Yeah, so the the legs, the white legs will have white rods. Uh, we just have. Uh, this, this is what we call rods, just yeah, in case. This <laughs> little black thing is that you use uh, with the tenting kit. So there's a few things that we've been uh, working on and improving. And these are uh, samples. So you see that maybe from the top shot, you, you see that they've been scratch it, scratched. For example, this one in particular, there was a discussion where there was an issue where you push the leg uh, to, the, to the base and the leg was slightly over uh, yeah. the, the bottom part. Yeah, so it's like it, it was not flush so one supplier was saying that it was a problem with the base another supplier was saying that it was a problem with the leg so we have to test with the leg uh, and and figure out what it was finally it was a problem with the base but we discovered this so then we could modify the mold and the so, good thing of being there is like you can just go to each other very fast and fix yeah, everything yeah ex exactly yeah uh, but for example one of the main things that we we've been working on the with, with the legs is uh, how soft or hard is to move a leg yeah yeah, exactly that feeling. And this sounds like a silly thing, but for example, imagine that it's so soft that you turn it around and, and, it, and, and, the, it moves, and the leg yeah. drops. That won't, won't be nice. But at the same, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but at, and at the same time, you want that feeling to be strong enough. So when you put it in a place, it just stays in that place. Yeah. So we were facing some challenges uh, where sometimes it was too hard and sometimes it was too soft. And one of the keys of having a high quality product is the consistency of whatever you decide that it has to be. And in this case, we are chasing that feeling where you leave it in a place and it stays in that place. And when you're trying to move it, the force that you require, it's it's not too much, but it's not too soft. So there's a few things that we discovered. And the main issue was that the paint inside, maybe I can show it here, this little, I don't know how to call this, little uh, stems, maybe? Uh, these little a, pieces. For that, uh, it's not uh, it's Fernando, okay. how would you call this little thing on the edge? I'll say stems. Is Right. Stems. Okay, awesome. Thank you. So uh, what happened is that when they were painting the, the legs, they were painting the stems and uh, painting the painting gives an extra 0 0.05 millimeters or something like this. 0 0.1. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gives microns of thickness. But what that made it is that it, it made it unreliable because sometimes it was too stiff yeah. and sometimes sometimes it, it was too And it especially too happened with the white uh, paint because white paint needs more coats than yeah, black paint. Yeah, exactly. And we've been uh, telling the suppliers to do this thing of don't paint the stems. And we've been, even though it sounds so silly, we've been fighting for months, but finally, uh, while we were testing there, we, will, we were able to accomplish it. And now what we are doing is we, we manufacture in the same way that we showed the thing that we manufacture to be able to manufacture properly, yeah. we manufacture uh, some little caps. Caps, thank you very much. We manufacture some little uh, caps, and now there's no paint here. Yeah. So they, they put the cap, paint, remove the caps. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And now, because there's no paint, the tolerance is exactly the same as in the design, and uh, is exactly the same as in, in the mold. And now it's so much more consistent the feeling. And this is just a tiny little story of one tiny piece. Of, yeah, and in of fact, the fact leg. it's not the whole story no, because no. on the base where the, that little prong connects, we've also added some rubber that also pressures that. So that feeling is more st is continuous. So the kind of so adds a bit of flexibility to make sure that you're always getting a consistent feeling. Feeling, yeah. And exactly. Manuel was telling me today that he was for a whole day like while doing all the stuff, every now and then doing this. <laughs> Like that yeah. test that it, does, it didn't moving, change. Moving it up and down. Up yes. and down, up yeah. and down yeah. to uh, make sure that. Uh, so. Yeah, because the first thing is ensuring that the feeling is consistent from the get go, but also you want to have that feeling extended as, as yeah. long as possible. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, there were many more challenges with the, with the legs. So another one that you mentioned is the paint. So uh, white paint doesn't cover as black paint. Uh, and we have to give it multiple coats. But those multiple coats, because it's difficult to paint uh, also in the inner part, create some kind of waves. Uh, and for example, so we've been chasing to ensure that there's no waves. And this is just aesthetic, an aesthetic thing that occurs inside the leg that most people won't even see. Yeah. But that consistency of the job paint is also uh, important for us. Also, the, the yeah. feeling... And yeah. Manel was talking, you know, with the suppliers, telling them, you know, what was not acceptable and what not. Like for example, in this one, I mean, you won't see. Yeah, it you, you, you it's won't impossible see the, the to camera. see it here. Yeah. You have to, you have to get the it. perfect light and yeah. then go through. But that's the kind of uh, madness, Tra craziness. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, like, if we're able to accomplish what we're looking for, the good thing is that then you can replicate it. Yes. So this means that or in the next batch of manufacturing of the Defy or in another product, we can replicate that. So doing the job 
properly. It's a learning. Yeah. yeah, it's learning. It's really difficult. You have to spend a lot of time, a lot of money, and so on. A mold. But, yeah, <laughs> molds. But then, if you can replicate it, then this means that you have a, a great foundation for not only this product, but other ones. Anyway, also, the filling of these little rods, uh, we've been working on it. We had an issue where the, the little rods broke, where they connected with the stem, because there's two little stems here. So they've yeah, you changed. Can, you can see them here. Yeah. The, yeah, the rods connect see. there. Maybe from the top. Oh, yeah, you can see just yeah, just there. The, a oh. little bit. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you can see. Yeah, those. Yeah, those. yeah. You can see the little rods. Yeah. So uh, those uh, where where the rod is is connected, uh, it it broke many times. So they've changed the uh, composition of the plastic, and they've also modified the the shape of those little stems, uh, so the rod rods stop breaking. So that's another thing that they've been working on. And uh, yeah, so much more so. And this is just the story of a little leg. So imagine <laughs> for a whole product, how it's been. Uh, so we have some questions. Uh, Chris Haupt says, can we listen to the keyboard? I can type, but uh, it doesn't, I probably, I would, I cannot assure if it has a form or not. I, I don't know, to be honest, if it has a form. Yeah, I'm gonna try to say something here in the chat. So maybe. It, does it have your layer? Yeah, yeah, it has my layer. That's my neuron. Ah, he has come prepared. Uh, yeah. I think he's proud. He wants to show his skills. Yeah, typing with typing with the. Yeah, he's been using the Defy for quite some yeah. time already. In fact, I can only use use the Defy now. <laughs> okay. Ten, ten. So hello. I I don't think we can hear anything because these are really silent. But if if you're talking at the same time, they're not gonna hear anything. Okay. Maybe you can lower the mic. I'm not uh, sure. Can, David, can I touch it? No, no? don't touch it. So, sorry, okay. our video producer said, don't touch the mic. Let, let's lift it, maybe. We're going to send a weird message to the chat. Yeah, don't, don't hit enter. Hey. Anyway, yeah, th these switches are really quiet, so uh, probably you're not hearing much. Those, because I know my layers. <laughs> Mikel came prepared. Good job, Mikel. Okay, so more questions. How, oh, is that an easy question? Alvaro Lopez asks, how can I know if I order the normal or the deluxe edition? I'm a Kickstarter user, thanks in advance. So there's no normal or deluxe. What there is is like a special colors. So if you, you can check your email where you have an email from us with your order, it will be explained if it's black, silver, the royal purple, Atlantis blue, uh, they're devil red. Yeah, they're devil red and uh, yeah. Egyptian gold, my favorite. Gold. Or maybe, yeah. So, yeah, but if you. Maybe, Fernando, you can give us some of the race of the colors, colors. Yeah. To, to show it. Okay. Yeah, give us a, maybe gold, gold, blue, purple, red, something like this. Awesome, thank you. Red and black or red and white? Uh, those three. Yeah, those three is okay. Awesome, thank you very much. There you go. So yeah, we have some, this is the, the race, but you... Yeah, but the, the colors are, are the same. So this is the Atlantis blue, uh, super cool. This is your favorite. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm hey, not sure. No, I, you're not, changing not, your mind I'm now. Sure. I'm not sure now. I mean, this is awesome, but the other ones are too. What I really like is how they change with light. You know, yeah. depending on how the light hits them, they're shiny, they're they are brighter than darker. Yeah, maybe you can see it a little closer. Yeah, and also the gold. I think the gold with black keycaps particularly looks badass. Yeah, and the, and the new purple is also really nice. Yeah, the nice. new purple is really nice. Oh, so you look, do it to the main camera. So you mean like this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it looks, yeah. It, that really looks nice in that camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it looks awesome. Yeah, so these are the, some of the special colors. Okay, so we have another question from, okay, PWRS. <laughs> K Z M K, for them to test my spelling uh, ability. He wants to know when tended. Do the hands slide off the keyboard or induce compression on the outside of wrists? I didn't understand the question. Could so the thing it? is, uh, if you need to, you know, make try to grab the keyboard so your hand don't, don't slide down. So maybe okay. you're typing here and they they slide. Understood. So uh, because of the uh, kind of material that the palm pads have, 
the hand is not really sliding much. If you're going on 60, it's gonna be the, the ones that's sliding more. If you didn't have the palm pads, then probably yes, because it's aluminum, so it's gonna be sliding. But probably in the 40 degree area, yeah, you even can, with- We can yeah, put you, it you in, can, a, in a really high angle, the highest angle. The highest angle, yeah. Okay. Did Ready. I use the right angle? Oh no. There it is. Ready? Okay. Yeah, actually, you can you can yeah. do a demo. I have I have never typed in this. Uh, the thing is that when you have this high angle, you're probably gonna need to sit higher. Yeah. Uh, so this is not the appropriate uh, setup for for typing in this position. But I would say you don't really need they don't slide off. You know, but you probably need to sit higher and. Yeah, and also for example, like I think that this position for standing desks yeah that's for it's, much it's, better it's, than, than, than it's great yeah because you can relax your back and you can drop your your arms like this and then yeah, it's and really then it's comfortable. comfortable if not maybe if you're sitting opening it more and resting yeah. your elbows and resting your elbows in the in, in the, the desk. chair yeah, yeah but, in the chair yeah, but, but it needs to be here, higher chair i don't have so we would need to sit properly yeah. for it like i would say 60 degrees is a really, really a steep. specific scenario usage uh, probably 45 i use it at 20 at 20. Yeah, but I, I would say that, for example, right now my elbow is on the desk, so I don't feel my head, hand is sliding. I, I'm not even trying to hold it, but there's enough grip in the palm rest, yeah, more so it's enough. fine. But if if I remove it, now it's sliding, so uh, this it's noticeable. Yeah, I would, and especially there's a difference between this palm pad and this palm pad. This palm pad is much grippier because it kind of holds your hand, so the new palm pad is much better in that regard. So. Uh, what's the angle that you have on that one? That's 20. 20, okay. Let's go for it. And there's little numbers on the base. Oh no, it's 15. This is 15, 15. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, this need, it is very difficult to see on the camera, but there's little engravings here. May, maybe we can show it? Yeah, I think. Uh, let's let's give it a shot. Or maybe another thing we can point out oh, now that we have no. that is... No, impossible. No, that no. the base for the silver one that won't be black. Oh, I have an idea. Can we use the underglow oh, yeah, to as a lantern? <laughs> maybe we can. Maybe, maybe we can use the underglow as a lantern. Uh, no, no, it's not working. Yeah. Anyway, I think it doesn't focus. <laughs> it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we we gave it a shot. Yeah. Maybe for the next one we can have like a hand camera that yeah, we can to point to, that. to details, yes. something like this. Okay. Fifteen. There you go. Okay, there was a question on Ryan Johnston asking, what type of switches are those? So these are switches that Manel brought from China. Yeah. So I have and no idea. I don't even know, yeah. Yeah, they are, yeah, I have no I, idea. Are these uh, kale ones or? I think they're kale, yeah, because I think he visited kale. Yeah, but it's not even written. Yeah, not sure. Yeah, uh, as- we can, we can look it up and, 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 and you know, Comment that on the Discord. Yeah, or anything. Uh, Manel brought uh, many switches. Uh, maybe the most interesting ones are the low profiles. Uh, many different switches uh, from uh, Kale and other brands. And on top of that, many low profile switches that are really nice, from really clicky to uh, linear and smooth. Uh, so yeah, maybe in the future, near term, we can we can have some new new switches. And I'm particularly excited by the low profile ones because the amount of options that exist are really yeah. low. But now there's more and they look better. So yeah, and by look better, I mean they feel better. So yeah, that's a that's a Spanish translation. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a Spanish <laughs> translation. Yes, totally. Okay. Um, another question: Is there a possibility to fix, I guess, attach each part of the armrest of the armrest of an chair? I guess attach this to the armrest of a chair. Yes, yes. And I'm really, that's something that I'm really looking forward to is that uh, both halves, like... The, and maybe maybe the white one is Yeah, that, to yeah see. that, that white would be better. Yeah, so uh, from the top, uh, you can see these four threads here, these four holes. So uh, these, I would say, that are M3 screws that are the most common ones, the most common one in the, in the small size uh, or in the small category. So you can just attach it here. Yeah. So you can have your little base with four screws and attach it wherever you want it. And that opens up world of possibilities. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can attach it to something that then is like a, a tripod mount, for example. For example yeah. So then the, you can even rotate it or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, 
I think that opens a world of possibilities, like maybe he may attach it to your legs if you want to. You, you want to screw it to your legs? No, I, I, no, I no, no, but maybe like have like a strap, you know? I think you, that's that's a great idea. You yeah. know, Tom Ryder, so. Tom Ryder has the guns on okay. her thighs, but so. we will have the Defy on our thighs. I'm like, wow, I'm yes. going to reply to this guy. <laughs> really fucking fast. <laughs> like, t -t 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 -t. Exactly, right? exactly. Understood, understood, yeah. I, I was picturing myself coming to the office, rolling in the floor, jumping. With my device. With your device, exactly. Yeah. But answering emails instead of shooting people. Exactly. Understood. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think it's a great idea. Okay, so Juan Manuel Santos asks a skin. Do you test the PCBs with switches other than the ones available to order? I found some issues with drop switches where certain keys would chatter and had to do leg twisting fix. So maybe like the piece, it has happened in the race that some switches, the, the whole in the PCB for the for the for the connectors of the switch. You mean on the socket? On the socket, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, it's a, a bit too, bit too large, so yeah. they have to twist the. Yeah, so it the doesn't make connection. Yeah. Okay. So. I, I haven't experienced personally, but maybe on customer support, maybe you yeah, have this, more information. It's not it has you know really it. common, but sometimes. So I mean, we do have we are we know that. Yeah, the thing about this is that we're using the sockets uh, that KL are uh, providing us. Yes. Uh, so uh, it's not like there's a ton of sockets in the market. And to be honest, these are fairly nice. Uh, so I would say it's more related to this, um, how to say, it? this is like a standard. Yep. Uh, even though the, the hot shopper sockets ha haven't been around for so many years, I think maybe five years ago, maybe there were not uh, hot shopper sockets like these ones. Yep. There was like a very weird thing that you had to use like little cones and so on. This is like a plastic piece that has some metal inserts that you solder to to the, to PCB. the PCB. Yeah. So maybe the answer is we test them with the cells, with the switches that we sell. We don't test them with every single switch. On top of that, uh, we have weird tastes and we have yeah. weird testing, but that's not like the official testing of the sockets of the PCB. So this is more us uh, playing around with different switches. Okay. What do you yeah, want to one, one last thing. Yeah. And what we must be sure is that for the switches that we sell, it's it's good for yeah. sure. That's what we have to ensure. So uh, Denansu is asking, will the mystery device uh, work with the device wired wireless neurons? Was that question is lucky enough to get you to give us info. <laughs> okay, so the question is if the mystery device will work with the Defy neuron as the Defy neuron controlling the mystery device as the brain? Yeah, yeah, or, or let's say, you know, for example, that Logitech has something like for the RF, they have just one that controls both their mice and the keyboard with okay. just one connector. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I think that's a nice thing long term. I think short term, the answer is no. I, I don't think so. Because uh, here we will need to have the firmware side, the configurators, configuration side, configurator side, and so on. And yeah, so. Yeah, but maybe in the future we have like a universal controller. Yeah, kind of thing exactly. Where you, like, exactly. Universal neuron. So. Uh, may, maybe when the neuron controls so many devices, maybe we should call it the brain. The brain. Because it has kind of maybe upgraded category. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, T Sharp is saying it's coming along so nice. So thank Th you. Thank you very much. Uh, Manel will like to. <laughs> yeah, Manel will be happy to hear this. Yeah, he's been, yes. he's been sweating a lot. Uh, maybe we can show some top panels just sure. by them alone. Because we've, one of the things. These are the final ones. Yes, I will do it. And I think uh, in the last uh, uh, batch we've done two hundred top. Uh, yeah, there was what I want to say. We did like this a. One is the oh, that's that. Oh, maybe they don't want to see that. So yeah, those are the samples. Th these are these are a secret for now. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's grab the other ones. You can then pause this and analyze it and, you know, try to... <laughs> David, cut this, please. Please cut this. Okay. Yes, yeah, exactly. this So we have some samples here. Yep. Oh, and here we have a base. Oh, yes. We should have a black top panel somewhere too. Ah, but th this one is mid, mid jam. I think we don't have a black one because the black one we don't have here is... Okay. So just a silver yeah, one. Yeah, let, let's get the room. 
Yeah, so there's a few things that we've been uh, working on with the, with the top base. So uh, a challenge that we have is this uh, top shape because the, this organic shape and the uh, manufacturing technique, uh, we use a metal stamp. Uh, so this means that uh, there's like a, a sheet of plastic, sorry, of plastic of aluminum and then there's a, how to say it, something that stamp, stamp, yeah, yeah that okay. stamps it. And then uh, the aluminum is bent and then we, we make the shape, right? So there's a few tricky things. Uh, first of all, this curve is tricky and they have to get this finishing. It has to go through a very manual process where the uh, every top panel is uh, basically put in a kind of belt that creates this uh, brushed effect. And also it has to be uh, oh, this is so have, difficult to explain in English. Like the... Oh, perfect. This is a great example. Yes, this is going to be much easier to explain with yeah, perfect. This is going to look ugly, but yeah, this, this is part of the process. Yeah, this you have to trust the process. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I think you, you can see here how it looks like damaged. Uh, here, in the corners, here, in the top part. The reason it looks like this is because it's been, how, how would you say it? Mm, there's like a circular thingy that smoothens the corners. Yeah. And this uh, fixes the all the imperfections that, that appear. This process is manual. But the thing is that the, the process that you can see here in the edge and, and on the top also, the sandblasted and the brush is manual too. So each top panel has a lot of work, <laughs> much it's, more it's work. It's a bit unique, like you don't get two panels that are exactly, exactly the same. Exactly the same, yeah, exactly, because it's a manual process. Still, even though it's a, a manual process, uh, we're getting a good tolerance, yeah. a good fitting, a good finishing. It's just, it requires a lot of attention, a lot of attention to detail, a lot of work, but yeah. Here you can see part part of that process of how damaged it looked, but it, this is just part of the process. Then it, they they just finish like this. They yeah. finish. But at some point, it looks great. like this. It's yeah. like the black swan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here yeah, I think we, this we is have, the other side. Yeah. Here we have a couple. Yeah. And you can also see, you know, this is done with CNC. All yeah. this. Yeah. The, the, this here. So this here and here and this ones this is cnc so this is a little hole for the battery these are for the magnets and this is so the low profile switches clip better so after doing this the the pros the stamping process where also you have the inserts and uh, these little uh, little towers and uh, then they do the cnc it's an extra process of course you have to pay for it uh, but uh, this is basically it allows the magnet it allows a great clipping and we have extra space for the, for the batteries yeah so it's kind of a mix of a Really industrial St st yeah. stamp, stamp and CNC. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's and then mixture. some manual finishes. Yes, exactly. So yeah, it's yeah. a pretty nice combination of different industrial techniques. Yeah. And you could say, okay, why the the base is stamped instead of CNC? If it was CNC instead of stamp, it would cost six times more or higher. So it's a matter of of cost efficiency. It, yeah, cost yeah. efficiency. Yes, and uh, we are aware that the the DeFi is already expensive this would make it like over the top just to have the aluminium top panels pedro well, customer happiness is uh, can i get a corroded top panel like that <laughs> <laughs> uh, may maybe maybe uh, pedro maybe you can send a ticket to customer support yeah. and then you can answer it yourself <laughs> and then you send it to and yourself. then you send it to yourself yes exactly i think yes okay uh so Elias is asking another good question. Are you planning to make the keyboard QMK compatible? And not in the short term, but it would be something cool. Yeah, and another thing that I think we've mentioned in the past, that I think, I'm not sure if they're new wired or wireless, the chip that's inside, which is the RP2040, if mm -hmm. I recall correctly, that's QMK compatible, mm -hmm. which means that it's much easier to install QMK there. Uh, so we won't do it, but it will be compatible. Yeah, um, and I cannot give you more details on that, and uh, but I think there will be room for that. Yeah, and it's something that we want to do in the future, but it's not something that we've prioritized because the firmware team is like uh, working yeah, over, so hard over. on the on the firmware on the DeFi firmware. Okay, now we have a difficult question from PWRs. Okay, you know the rest, CMK. <laughs> <laughs> What's the current status of production and shipment updates? Okay, so um, while Manel was in China, they've been manufacturing components. As you, yeah. as we've uh, said, for example, we manufacture uh, 200, 200, 200 to top panels. Yeah. Uh, the cases have been manufacturing for over a month. They are, yeah. they are continuing manufacturing. So different components are in different status. Uh, it looks like everything is moving 
forward fine. Maybe there's some kind of delay at some point, but there's nothing like too serious that it's worrying us. It's a matter of pushing forward and continue doing the steps. Um, yeah, and I would say many things are at the stage where we're just, we can we could launch them at any given point, but we are still, you know, looking for the little fine, improvement, fine tuning where it, okay, it's not enough for us. So yeah. it's, I would say very good, it's not enough for us. <laughs> yeah, so for example, there's some components like, let's say the enhancement kit. I think we've manufactured already yeah, all, all the enhancement kits, the cases. We've manufactured, manufactured maybe half of the cases and we've done uh, like a, a 200 run unit with top panels. We've done also with PCBs. So we are at a point that we are getting very, 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 very close to just manufacturing the, the whole run. Still, there's a little bit of tweaking, but this is like literally final tweaking. Yeah, and this another thing that's difficult to grasp sometimes that there's things like, for example, the legs, once they are proof and everything's perfect, you can get them done all really, really fast. Yeah, in a matter of uh, weeks, yeah. two, two, three weeks, maybe we can have all the legs done. And, but it's really important, <coughs> even though that happens, then the uh, quality control is really, really important. Yeah, and that can just have to be in the assembly line. Yeah, and let's say, imagine that you are doing on the assembly line, you're doing the quality control, and you realize that uh, you're gonna test, f open 50 races, sorry, <laughs> 50 devices, yeah. or even, even before you assemble, uh, talking about legs, you open uh, 50 little boxes or packages with the legs and you realize, okay, only, there's one out of 50 that has an issue, okay, you, you put it away. But imagine that 10 of them have an issue. Okay, then now if you've manufactured 5,000, you have to open, let's say, 1,000 of them yeah, to ensure that this is not an issue that is consistent on, on every single uh, leg. So even though when things are ready, you can manufacture it, quality control is so, so, so important in the components. And then when they go to the assembly, at the end of the assembly too, yeah. during the assembly, but the, at the end. Yeah, also. for example, Manel has been uh, telling us today that also has been working for days with the assembly engineers, preparing all the SOP. Uh, steps of the process. Steps of the process. So where with different <coughs> uh, quality control throughout the process and, you know, documenting everything like crazy. And they, I think, in fact, they assembled some device, you know, just to prove that the process is correct and they, you know, they're making a lot of progress there. So we are ready we're making progress ahead so we're ready to assemble once all the components are ready yeah so you can picture it imagine uh, manel the manufacturing boss it of was, the factory yeah, and the two and, and two engineers see, and the, yeah. the uh, engineer boss of the yeah, assembly engineer assembly call. engineer yeah assembly engineer they sit on a table and they do the process themselves whatever it is this could be assembling a bottom panel this could be assembling the whole keyboard assembly keycaps doesn't matter what and they go through that process and they do like a quality control round and in this way they're kind of checking what's going on and what Manel is looking for, what are the problems that Manel is spotting, but also what are the problems that the, man, the factory, the engineers and so on, they are spotting. And this way, at the end, they have this SOP or this step of the process where they've designed how the flow is going to be. But at the same time, they're already doing this quality control with, the, with the, the samples. the very, very first run. Yeah. That would be maybe, I don't know, a few, like 15 keywords, something like that. Well, it, 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 can, it kind of depends. Yeah. It can go from... 25 to 200, depending yeah. on what you're doing. Okay, uh, more things. Uh, oh, Jake Rifkin, any reference to later purchase new battery? Like if you can buy the battery from us afterward? Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, we've explained this sometimes. But some like a, I would say like a core value that we have is that we want our products to be very easy to repair. To repair exactly. So this means that uh, uh, actually here you can see you can see the screws. Uh, we we could have hidden those screws those screws easily like most products do. Yeah, and many people hide that behind the mylar. For yeah, example. exactly. We could hide it, but instead of this, uh, we you, you can see them and you can access them if, because you want. Uh, we want everyone to be able to open it easily without having to break the product. So this means that if you have an issue with your battery, you just open this and then you can just change change the battery for a new one. So yeah, yes. maybe you break a PCB or something like that. Yeah, you can or open whatever. Open it the PCB and it's not. You don't have to change the whole keyboard. It's also better for the planet, you know. Like when you don't have yes. to ship the keyboard, we can all, we can maybe ship you the part, and you can just buy the part and stuff like that. Yeah, and you also know. it enables. Sometimes. Yeah, it enables options like, uh, for example, it. Okay. <laughs> um, let's say that you have an issue with a PCB. So if you could not open the product 
how, how do you fix that? You have to send it to us, we have to send you a new product, but making it so easy to open the product and if you have an issue with the PCB, we can send you a PCB. That, that would make it so so much easier than you send the keyboard to us and then we fix it and then we give it back. And if we have to, we can give you assistance online. For So this is less uh, uh, pollution, less traveling, less yep. cost, more speed. So it's basically beneficial in every single sense. So short answer, yes, you will be able to buy a battery from us. Long answer, all our products should be really easy to open. So you should be able to change components, repair, and so on. With a uh, screwdriver. Yeah, exactly. With a basic, with a simple screwdriver and basic knowledge of how to unscrew yes, something yeah. and Le push, you know, push some buttons. Lefty yeah. and screw, righty, you know, this is the same for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we need to move. Sorry, we, we, Sorry, we, we are slowly, school, school, slowly yeah. moving. <laughs> you look slowly yeah, coming. Thank you, thank you David. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Brandon L. Kaplan uh, is asking, how complicated can macros get in base core? How complicated they can get? Yeah. I mean, you can have a macro within a macro, <laughs> so they can, yeah, can get that complicated. <laughs> yes, and you can make uh, macros open software, move the mouse, do... Yeah, in fact, we're publishing things. a video about macros this Thursday. So with like 13 different examples of how you can use a macro, so you can use a macro to maybe, you know, uh, edit a, a set of uh, pictures, for example, or maybe to open your software. I think one of our teammates mentioned that when uh, he has a macro that kind of clears his desktop, opens all the messaging apps. And so that way when, they, when his uh, boss comes in the room, just clears the desktop with a button and then opens all the messaging apps that he has until he can really read a message that maybe his boss sent him really fast. So it'll be Gmail, uh, you know, Slack or whatever. I, I need okay. to get that done. <laughs> and it clears browser history too. <laughs> okay. Uh, clearing the browser too, that's next level uh, hiding shit exactly. uh, macros. Uh, so uh, this is kind of supporting low level delictive uh, behavior inside, In the, inside the office. Okay, well yes. macros are dangerous. Uh, Be careful, guys. Uh, Dima doesn't endorse that. <laughs> <laughs> well said, thank you. Now there's a, like a massive, tiny text exactly. coming through coming the screen. Through, like, yeah. uh, this is, uh, the opinion of the hosts are only the opinion of the hosts. Okay. Um, Elias asking, is there a way to get to try the keeps without having to invest a large amount of money to buy one? No. We do, sure. we do have a 30-day policy, yeah, of course. Like you can return it yes. in the 30-day, but can. you need to buy it. Yes, uh, we don't sell in any physical shops, and we actually only sell in our website. Yes. So maybe if any of your friends have bought it before, uh, then you can test it. If not, uh, you have you buy it, and if you don't like it, you, you can return it. Yeah, just like anything online. Like yes, that. yes, yes. Oh, okay. Um, mm. So there's questions about the RGB effects. Mm -hmm. uh, will the new firmware allow for more RGB effects or still static? Uh, yes, but not uh, out of the gate. So probably not, not when the keyboard comes out. It's shipped. But uh, yeah, when, when it's shipped, but we are already working in the firmware. So uh, doing all these effects, all these new animations and so on, it's so much easier. I, I think that the actual firmware has one. Yeah. But <laughs> it's moving. But I'm not sure if this will be the final firmware. So. Yeah, th this is not the final firmware. No, no. So we will have the the basic ones like Chase, Rainbow. Yeah, uh, but Beef. not new ones compared yeah. to the yeah, not new ones compared to the race. Yeah, exactly. We will have the ones in, in the race, yeah. and and soonish we will have the new ones. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Pedro is saying use macros safely <laughs> and wisely. Yes. Okay. Be careful. Um, or maybe we should use this as kind of like. Uh, content in the sense of marketing tactic. Yeah, like hi, five hi. ideas to hide from your boss. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. five things you hide uh, from your boss with the Digma Race, the Digma Five. Exactly, yes. exactly. Maybe we can go in the dark web and and market our keyboard. Our keyboard there. Yeah. Okay, so Exo Dragon Logsco is asking, can you make text macro? Like I have to enter notes and have to start all with my department acronym. Yes. Yes, easily. That's the most straightforward application of macros. Yes. There is, in fact, in Basecore, you have like a macro text uh, box where you can just type it and then save it. And that's the easiest way to configure a macro. 
Yeah, uh, I, I remember we had, this was some time ago, our operations uh, manager left for holidays and I had to cover him and I had to do all the shippings and yeah. all the stuff. And I had this macro, uh, I went into the shipping uh, website and I just wrote 25 tab, 17 tab, whatever. I just click that button, da, 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 da. I had enter, enter, next one, like this. Yeah. So, so these kind of basic things. Or maybe are, you can have like a signature there, store or whatever. Yeah. Do not store passwords on macros. Yes, don't store. <laughs> don't, st macros. don't do yes. that. Um, okay, uh, more questions. Uh, do you say? Did you say this in the video? Don't store passwords on uh, macros. I think we don't. Ah, oh, that okay. maybe. Uh, maybe we do. I'll, maybe we can put like a. We are still <laughs> editing. Dis disclaimer. <laughs> disclaimer. Yes. <laughs> Please remember. This video is on beta too. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, Massimiliano is asking, will there be a chance to buy merchandise like stickers and the Race Defy poster, teacups and whatnot? Wait, wait a second. Fernando, Fer Fernan Fernando can you answer that, please? Can, can, how it's going with the merchandising? It's, uh, it's getting there. <laughs> Eventually. Okay, so for a long time... I think since I joined Dima, which was a year and a half ago. Yeah, for a long time, we've, we wanted to have merchandising, but this is like taking ages. It's taking ages! <laughs> What's going on? Noted. <laughs> yeah, so uh, please ask this question frequently so we can uh, put a little bit more pressure on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh... We should do something like if this video gets a thousand likes, we will yes. we will make a poster and ship it. Yeah, yes, and actually, like Fernando is doing stuff for socials, right? So yeah. maybe we can we can do something fancy. He can shoot himself in the foot, you know, like <laughs> doing that. Yeah. So he has to do. Yeah, yes, exactly. Okay, maybe we need to hack. Yes, <laughs> we reprioritize re reprioritize all your work, so you you only do designs for T-shirts, stickers, and stuff like this. I'll be yeah. happy with that. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Let's go, Massimiliano. Okay, uh, Jake Rifkin is asking, what's the length of the connection cable? I guess we can explain the all the... Connection cable? All... You mean the, the one that connects yeah, to the... Me, we have some cables here, so maybe I can... Cables. But these ones are the short ones. I think there's a long one there too. Maybe. Oh, oh short. Electrostatic. Electric. Many cables. Uh, yeah, let's move this here. This is the long one. Yes. So that's this one is the long one, which is 1.5 meters. Yes, one and a half. I don't know how. <laughs> that's okay. I need to do some math. <laughs> <laughs> so for people that no, don't know centimeters, it's like a small girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think this, that's that's this tall. Five foot. Five foot. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's five foot. Yeah, five foot. Five foot. Yeah. <laughs> so um, maybe we can do. Yeah, you can stand up. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm 180. Well, of course, 180. You don't know what I'm a. I'm a regular human being. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So it's kind of like shoulder height for people that are not don't know how centimeters work. Yeah. I don't know if this answers the question. And then they say the shorter ones. Okay. These so are yes, yeah, so 30 centimeters, yes. and we also have 50 centimeter cables. That it's like the black one that that it's here connected. This one. Yeah, like this one. That's 50 centimeters. Yeah. In case you want to have both sides yeah, so you you know, can, a bit wider apart. So you yes. can compare the length. So this would be one foot and a foot and a half. I don't know, some inches. Yeah. A foot and some inches. <laughs> yeah, for the next time we need to know the American metric system. Yeah, American system. sizes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. yes. So we don't have to say this cable is like a small girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dominic height. <laughs> yeah, actually, yes, it's more or less like Dominic. Yes, maybe slightly shorter than Dominic. So maybe you want to talk about the cables that we have them here, like talk them about about a bit. Like they're slightly different from the race. Yeah. So uh, because of the neuron and and the uh, three modes, wired, wireless, and so on. So basically, uh, these cables are thicker than the race cables. Still, flexibility is fine, but uh, because they are thicker, they are uh, less less flexible. Yeah, can you, you think you can see it here where they are not as flexible. Yeah. Maybe you can bring. Can you maybe bring a cable from the race? Yeah, and if I recall properly, this is a USB C three point two. Three point two. But 3. I think 2. for the final version, we will we will be able to have three point one. I think. Uh, the In fact, they're not called three point two. One other three point two J and one. Side yeah, <laughs> well, it's kind of crazy the, yeah. how they name them. And yeah, exactly. That's right. So you can see. Maybe I can get it closer to the camera. 
Yeah, the, the raised one is 20 centimeters, so these ones yeah, are not, not only that, but the thickness yeah. I would say is like a, maybe a 30 percent uh, thinner, and the raised one has yeah. less connections. This is not a, not even a full cable. Yeah, because it has less, just the right amount of cables yeah, so for one, it to be. Yes, one of the things that we did to make the the raised uh, cables uh, softer is pull cables out, yeah. because we we and by cables I mean wires, because we didn't use all the wires, but here we, we do. So these, uh, these cables are much more expensive uh, from the connectors to the cable. They're a bit thicker, uh, but they are high quality. So that's great. Something nice is that for the long cable that connects to the computer, uh, we will be able to use a regular, I think it's a USB-C 2.0. Oh, yes. Yeah, exactly. So uh, there, it, that will be thinner. Uh, so that's nice. Yep. Even though uh, many people think, oh, a thicker cable is better quality. Well. There's a point that it's just thicker for the sake of being thicker, and then it's just not a better quality. Yeah, so we, we aim for... more comfortable for the use that is intended for. Yeah, exactly. So we aim for uh, as, as thin as possible and as flexible as possible, and that makes it more comfortable to move around in desk, connect, etc. But the aesthetics of these cables are very, are very nice. This is a, yeah, and this is final, you know, like, yeah. really nice. And the corded kind of thingy. Yeah, the braided. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. braided, too. thank you. Okay, Whoa. careful. After the video, I'm going to have to rearrange all the samples. All the samples. Manel will kill me if I don't. <laughs> that's one of the yeah, raised ones. Means. Yeah. Okay. So, um, quick question from Mega Juni. Is the DeFi hot swappable? I bought it for office use and my plan is to swap it to silent switches. Yes, it is. And we do send sw silent switches to Stu. So we have silent browns and silent, silent pinks. pinks. And I would say most of the linear ones are quite silent too. Not extremely silent, but yeah. yeah. They're yeah, not noisy they, at all. Yeah, the kales, uh, silent pinks and browns are fa fairly silent. Yeah. yeah, it's a good experience. Uh, especially the silent pink are silent pink. Yeah. Yes, you cannot hear them. <laughs> Agree. Um, and yeah. Okay. Um, Roger Murtab is saying I'm getting too old for this shit, but I don't know what he means. Maybe he can explain. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this is a question. <laughs> okay. Um, or just a, 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 an assessment or a, yeah. Okay. But you're never too old. Yeah, for net for any shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, uh, another question from PWR K Z M K. I got to learn his name. What about inf interference between multiple DeFi devices? That's so a great question. Yeah. So we are aware of it and we're working on it. Uh, our scenario in our mind is if there was 30 devices in an office our office <laughs> yes yeah so <laughs> our office good point yeah there must not be in, uh, interferences so uh, we have to do firmware and electronic stuff to ensure that this doesn't happen and the team is aware of it okay i think we have all the questions answered and it's 7 p.m Okay, so maybe we can do like a bonus Perfect round. timing. Okay, is there anything else that uh, we haven't shown that let you me, would like let to me show? Check. Yeah, we have the pump pads. We show the top panel. We show the rods, the legs. Oh, maybe you can do the final um, with the underglow. And there was a comment below uh, before I say I can only imagine Manel going through costumes with all these plastic bags. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, he shipped this yeah. in a box with with a, a courier. Uh, that's not the final one. I can show you the one. Yeah. So it's this one. Yeah. So because they all look the same in the camera, probably. Yeah. So these are, uh, as you can see here, PC plus zero point two percent diffuser. These are different uh, plastic compositions, uh, and Manel has been testing different ones until yeah. they found the perfect one that doesn't show hot spots. It doesn't matter what angle yeah, you see spots, them. I think in the camera you cannot see no, anything, but when there's a small shadow or too bright spot yeah. uh, in the in the underglow. And this yeah. one, I mean, this I, I, is, from here I cannot see any hot spot here. Yeah. And this okay. is not the. Uh, no, this and is the this, final one. This is the final this, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the final one. And I must say the underglow looks absolutely amazing. And I'm not saying this because this is our keyboard. It, it just looks sick. It's like uh, we were proud of the race underglow, but the Defy underglow is like. It puts it puts it to sleep. Yeah, it's like next level. Yes, uh, so here you can see some some samples with different compositions. Uh, in the camera, you cannot spot the difference, but from here we. Do can you want see... me to put that at a hundred percent? Sure, but maybe maybe I die. <laughs> Go for it. 
Okay. Or maybe when we share. Okay, it's good. Okay, yeah. Here yeah. you go. It's really intense. It's like a torch. Yeah, maybe you can turn off the light. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. So right now we have no lights. <laughs> yeah, no, no lights and you can see how bright this is. Ah, perfect, awesome. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, I've changed the layer. This is the layer, yeah. Yeah, you can see how bright this is. It's just next level. Uh, I feel like this is like a romantic ending yeah. <laughs> to, to this video with the lights off. May, maybe we can have the lights on again, please. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, this was maybe the final, yeah, we have, sa uh, final sample. Any bonus question? Yeah, we have one more. Okay. Um, if I already fight too late, we'll have to wait way longer than June then, like a second batch. Uh, so right now it's still not too late, mm -hmm. but uh, we are making a fixed amount of, of DeFi for the first batch. Yeah, we're so doing it, 5,000 something. Yeah, so if uh, don't wait too much. Yes. <laughs> Uh, pull, pull the trigger. Yeah, yeah. I would say this. I wouldn't imagine a reason to wait other than that you don't have the money, uh, because it's not gonna get any cheaper, because right now it has a ten percent discount, and uh, and also you know every, all the add-ons and everything has a ten percent discount. You can get a ten percent discount on the extras too, like you want another set of keycaps and whatnot. So it's not gonna get any cheaper, and uh, it's not gonna get any sooner <laughs> to your fans. So may, maybe we run out of stock. That yeah, has yeah that's what I mean. Like, you, you, you wait too much, the pre order batch will run out, and you'll have to wait for the second batch. Yeah, and we are at the point right now that we are selling at the speed that we are, we know that as soon as fi we finish this DeFi batch, we need to manufacture the next yeah. one. Yes. Uh, but maybe if we break stock in the middle, maybe we won't have DeFi for a couple of months or something like this. So have that in mind. Yes, it, might be, it depends on how sales go. We might have pre sold all the ones that we're shipping, or maybe. The just, I don't yeah, know. Or maybe the combination of whatever keycaps, language, color, tenting. Yeah, because we, we only have 6,048 possible combinations. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe the one that you want is not yeah, it's stuck. <laughs> exactly. So have that in mind. Yeah, so I would say pre-order. If you really want it, don't don't wait too much. If you are thinking about it or maybe you don't have the money, just yes. you know, keep putting money in the piggy bank. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then when you're ready, break it. Break it. And yes. then, and and send us the coins you know? <laughs> <laughs> through the post. Exactly, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I think that was. I think it was a good ending. Um, oh, this last question: Is there a time for where I can do to do color changing or add some additional? Yes. Yeah, sure. I didn't understand. The yeah, they want to change their order, so maybe they can wanna. I, they had it black and they want to oh, change sure. it to purple. Yes. yes. Send uh, an email to contact at digma dot com, yeah. or contact Pedro in uh, Discord or yeah. Reddit or you know Twitter. Uh, yeah, some, yeah, you know, how do you say that? Uh, uh, señales de humo. Oh, okay. uh, how, how would you say this in English? Smoke signals. Smoke signals. Yeah. Oh, smoke oh signals. like a, with a pigeon yeah, or something? Yeah, like homing pigeon. Yeah. yeah. Per perfect. Anyway, so uh, thank you very much for your questions. Yeah, thank you uh, very much for your time too. And yeah. your support and uh, and everything. Yeah, we, we, we hope that you enjoyed us seeing half-baked products. But yeah. this is the, the process of, of creating the DeFi. We're in the kind of final countdown. Final uh, stretch, yeah. Yeah. And w w wait a second, our producer is doing weird signals <laughs> with their hands. David, what's up? What do you need? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, so okay, okay. Maybe okay. I can do a, like a countdown and then we got the, the lights on three. Uh, okay, okay. Let's so, do it. Are you ready? One, two, three. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. See you. Bye.